right, I think we're back. We're live. Second, all right, looks like you guys are back with me. Okay, I'm gonna get uh, Larry in here. Ooh, we got a couple people coming in. Okay, we're gonna hop in here and talk about the frame design. We just have um, what's his name? Um, Agro Barbie, he's coming in. He just finished his seven inch build, the one that we're doing right now, so he's gonna hop in here and uh, talk to us. What's up Gucci Flip? Flop? No okay. cow? Alright, now that I got you guys back here, I got some new people tuning in. I'm gonna kinda walk you guys through what I just did. We're gonna try to get this full build done in the next hour or so. Um, so this is the 7 inch Cinebarge HD frame from Falcon Molt Riders. This thing is a beast. Uh, dead cat design. All we did was we just put the arms on. Um, so if you guys can see inside of here, there's these cutouts. Let's see if we can get that lighting right. There's cutouts here. So there's a little puzzle piece that you put inside in between the sandwich of these two plates. And um, that basically allows you to line up your arms perfectly. Um, so that's gonna, that was the only um, kind of tough part of the build so far. I had to like basically put the arms, line them up, and then put that in, and then put the plate on, but it actually wasn't that bad. So I was expecting it to be, like when I built the Apex frame from Impulse RC, that was a pain in the ass getting that piece in. Similar idea with like the little puzzle piece that keeps the arms aligned. That one was way harder for whatever reason. Um, yeah, this thing's big. All right, um, here are the motors we're gonna be using. <laughs> oh baby. iFlight Zing. 2806.5, 13R KB, these things are monsters. Uh, for the stack, we're gonna be using the iFlight uh, 6S stack. This is uh, has the DJI um, plug on the back, so we're gonna run DJI straight into it with no soldering. That's the reason why I got this stack. Um, so that's going to go right here in the middle. Our air unit's going to go in the back. And we have this sweet little case for it. It's going to sit right there. Crossfire shot. What is that? What is crossfire shot? All right, so we'll get this uh, we'll get the stack hardware off of this thing that comes with it, and uh, while we're doing this, I'm gonna pull up some stats on this stack for you guys. So we did a big group buy on the uh, FPV chat, so I got all this stuff at like 20 25 percent off, 20 percent off. So got a bunch of stuff to build. Um, let's see, I think it's uh, Success. Success. I hate that name. Success. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Okay. Yeah, this is the Success, Success F7 stack. Success D. So this is the Success D um, F7 V2.1 stack. Plug and play with the DJI. It's got 50 amp ESC, which should be plenty for this low KV setup we're running on 7 inch. Um, not sure what battery I'm gonna run this yet. I gotta look to see what Tattoo has. Hopefully they have some like 1000 KV success. Might have to make some custom packs. All right, just look at these little spacers in here. All right, so here's the ESC. So the first thing I do on build, usually I'll put the ESC on and then I'll get it all tinned up. So we'll do that first. And we can take off these spacers that they come with. Yeah. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is see if these screws are long enough. Yes, and they are. Yeah, 
stash them plenty long enough. So these this stack comes with the same screws that the, the frame kit comes with, 20 millimeter. Always save your gummies and spacers, guys. You never know when you're gonna need them. I have a little box of gummies. this solder yet. So I bought this same roll of solder less than a year ago and went through it already. This thing is huge. So much drone stuff I'm building. This thing is heavy. Yeah, man. Hopefully, t yeah, hopefully uh, 10 minutes flight time for sure. All right, let's get this crack in. Open a window, get some ventilation going here. Always try to keep some airflow when you're soldering. <laughs> I don't know man, I have a history of stuff lighting on fire too, so. Now this solder I use does have flux inside of it, so. Um, but I am double, double dipping on the flux, just make sure I get those nice solder joints for this thing. Restream just shut down, that's good. You still live? <laughs> check, 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 check. on Twitch. Okay, let's see if Facebook's still live. Alright, we'll just keep it locked here on Twitch. Um, so let's go put these motors on. So I'm not sure what size uh, screws we're gonna need to come with, it looks like eight millimeter. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we'll use the screws to come with these motors.
<laughs> well, you broke you broke it in the center. What's what's wrong with it? I don't know why, but I've always wanted to take a soldering iron and just like melt it through the metal middle of one of these. <laughs> I don't know why. So these motor screws do have Loctite on them from the factory, which is good. Otherwise, I would recommend putting your own on. It's always a good idea to put Loctite on. <laughs> oh shit, that's what happened to yours. One more to go. So I have a film shoot coming up next month in the desert. We're gonna be filming some off-road car trucks a big race in the desert so that was kind of the impetus to build this thing something I can fly for like 10 minutes really far away track the trucks on the track all right let's get these measured out and we'll start soldering them to the ESC I'm just gonna uh, put some e-tape down as a placeholder on the arms for the motor wire length and then we'll make it nice and pretty later on. And these motor wires are thick. thought about that for mayhem <laughs> but there was a like <clears throat> I guess you can't have more than one quad on the track at, at the same time for your team we we're like shit if we can like pull it off to where we can fly through video noise and like just take a 10 inch quad out there and ram people but there's also a six inch limit on the prop size so 
<laughs> we could do like a ASL like battle drone with like five inch props. Insanely long. Okay, let's start trimming these up. I want the wires to come really close to the arm or to the main body. Just gonna tape those down there. Uh, we'll do arm flex here in a sec. I'm gonna guess there's none. Just <clears throat> yeah, there's no. Well, there's a little bit, but I haven't tightened down the screws all the way. So yeah, I think she'll be good.
it'll probably go a mile up in the air. Top speed, I'm guessing like 80. Two down. So now I'll get the back arms. This thing's looking pretty mean. Wait, what? what I do when I'm trying to measure out motor wire length is I'll um, usually go about three millimeters past the, ne uh, the one before. And that usually works out for the length to uh, get it nice and clean looking uh, for the soldering to the, to the ESC. All right, awesome. Restream is down again. Wait, I don't, I don't remember that happening. That's crazy. Is it on the live stream or is it like during practice day?
almost done with the motors. Hey, Dance Girl, thanks for the follow. Hope you're having a good Friday night. Hey, welcome to the Simibaters. motor and then we're gonna get to the fun stuff it's usually the longest part of the build here just getting the motor wire motors on wires trimmed to length and solder and everything okay all right should we put it on the scale right now and see where we're at let's do that just curious Oh, nice. Oh, Dance Girl, I think that's, uh... Agro Barbie, okay, yeah. Is, are you Agro Barbie? All right, we're at 366 right now. Okay, what's up, Agro Barbie? Um, if you got some pictures of your build, send them my way and I'll put them up on the stream. I'd love to show it off. Okay, so we got the stack. So this is interesting. This stack has a USB-C. Take my word for it. That's a USB-C on there. Um, okay, so the DJI plug is on the back side here, on this side of the FC, so we're going to put it facing the back. Agara Baggy, okay. <laughs> Sorry, dude, Larry's messing with me. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, Agro, uh, where'd you put your pigtail? Curious where I should put mine. So we have this top plate here. Oh, up, up front, okay. Hmm. So I guess I put this ESC on backwards then, kind of. Okay. All right, we're gonna do that all over again. We'll mess up our beautiful joints here. This is why I live stream my builds because I always mess stuff up. So what made you uh, kind of talk to Larry about this, this frame design? What kind of application were you uh, most excited to use this for, I guess? Did you do some, like, you film uh, wakeboarders a lot, right? That's what Larry was telling me.
Yo. Hello. What up? Just live streaming a build right now. No. Are you on Facebook or Twitch? Uh, I'm on Twitch right now. Building a seven incher. Yeah, I went blue for the first time today. <laughs> How was that? It was it was fun, man. Like I just I need to work on the tune. It's a beta flight. What frame are you flying? Source uh, Source One. Source One. What's that? Uh, TBS is like open source frame. Okay. You should try my box frame. Is it Is it a freestyle frame or is it just like? Uh, race frame. Uh, Falcon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how much? <laughs> uh, um, I think it's like, do you have a 3D printer? No, but I can, I can get prints. Okay, without the prints, it's like, I want to say it's like 60. <laughs> I like I, I don't know man I'm I'm kind of I'm I'm feeling TBS's race frame right now. Okay. If you have if you're having trouble tuning that like the box frame is like so easy to tune. Really? <sighs> you're going to have to extend the DJI plug. Do you have like your own personal channel or are you on Velocity? I'm just on Velocity John. All right, so let's get the pigtail on. Did you use the capacitor there, Agra Barbie? Is that is that hobby wing? Uh, no, this is the I flight. The I flight. The easiest way. Uh, yeah, NoiCal, I don't know, dude. Maybe I did run a crazy lap, but I was like out of control. I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't know if I buy that though. Who knows? I think it was on the back track. <coughs> That pigtail won't work. Oh, why not? All the sounds that are going on around you. Just listen to the general hum and buzz of the world. As if you were listening to music. I think I might have run an 18.5, yeah. Okay. Simply allow them to play with your eardrum. I mean, I can just use this XT60, right? And just take this thing off. Just put heat shrink over it. Was it going to be too big? Yeah. I think this wire is too thick to like bend up. Yeah. What, uh, what's, are those, what size motors are those? 2806. All right, so we got this 3D printed XT60 holder that we're gonna mount to the frame right now. It's the top plate. Oh yeah, 28 at 6.5. Excuse me. Larry, hop in Discord if you want, if you're uh, free. So we're just putting these uh, nylon nuts in here. I'm 
trying to at least. There we go. Uh, I think Larry sent you a link to the Discord. Colby, can you hear me? Yeah, what's up? Hey, that was looking nice. Uh, I think Larry yeah. sent you a link to the Discord. Oh, I think you got the live stream on, on the background. Yeah, yeah what's up? Hey. <laughs> Alright, what's the trick to get this XC60 in here? Just jam it in there? Uh, yeah, you gotta use force. Um, and the most important thing is to make sure the polarity is right because when you put it on the frame, it's going to sort of point your wires. In oh, way. okay. I got to rotate it then. Okay. Yeah, it takes a little power, but it should be a nice stiff bolt. Oh. I, like I like to extend it a little further past the top plate. Okay. Hello. What's up? Oh, I need that. All right, so we're just gonna unscrew it and rotate it 180. Yeah, and that 12, that 12 gauge that's on there is overkill. <laughs> it's gonna be really thick and yeah. hard to flex. We're going such a short distance. Yeah, okay. That was probably the hardest part of the build, was just getting the wires bent in place. Yeah, I can imagine. But it, but it, it makes it so clean. Your, your, your XC60 <laughs> has it, <laughs> it stays away from everything. Less like yeah, it's, it's really nice once it's in. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so uh, everybody's joking about here in this room. <laughs> Okay, so 12 Is gauge wire? Yeah, we use, no, we use 14. 14, okay. Is the audio really bad if I keep you like this? It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's like deafening. Yeah. Is it better like this? No. It's alright. Alright, grabbing some wire. Ooh. So, uh, no, Cal, you said uh, Tom Mountain scare you. This is four battery strap slots. Four battery strap slots. So, I mean, like, your battery's not dying. So, you can you pull that thing on there so tight. The other reason for the four battery straps is because if you're not running a GoPro and you want to center your battery to get correct center of gravity, you can put it a little more forward and still have some uh, some straps that are lined up, you know, correctly in the middle of it or on the front and back of it. Um, it was the only way I could get both those scenarios to kind of make sense. All right, so we're gonna take this wire that comes off from the factory. It's probably gonna be a nightmare to get off. It usually, is use like industrial solder irons. Is this any better? Way better. Uh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got one on. I think that XT60 is actually a little thicker than the default one that I designed it for. Why it was so damn hard to get in there. Oh, it's, if it's, it's, it wasn't too bad.
At least you know it's not going to come flopping out on you if uh, the battery gets rejected. Yeah. Never. So, uh, the Chinaman was doing his build earlier, and he told me that he ripped uh, one of those vibration dampening mounts first thing when he tried to put it in. Uh, and that's why we put five in there. He needed Good. the fifth one. Yeah, it's um, it's a little tight, but it, I mean, I don't know if you ever deal. built anything with the Synergy board. They seem like the same, same style. It is identical. I got there them from Tiny Guy. There you go. <laughs> okay, so what's the okay. trick to getting these wires on? Um, I cur I did like a little bit of a loop. Um, the other stuff, are you going to be running dig digital? Yeah. So the camera, I would do a dry fit with the air unit in the 3D printed case. Okay. And the camera wire to the front. like. And I ran mine under the whole stack. Okay. And then the XT60 wires do kind of like a, a loop up and then to the pad, so almost like an S. Yes. You could come around like a sideways curve, or you could go like a vertical curve, you know what I mean? Like you could come out yeah. and like go to the side if you wanted. Whatever makes it easy. You want to leave a little bit of slack because um, if you want to take the top plate off without having to yank that XT60 out of that tight order. Um, yeah. yeah, I might just deal with it quite a bit of slack. Yeah, at the same time, the more slack you leave, there's then you need more room for it inside of the top plate. So, um, you gotta worry about that. But no, the power wires won't go under the stack. The power wires are gonna be directly connected right in front. The camera, yeah, the camera wire, wire. Yeah. <laughs> went under the stack for me. Okay, well, let's put this, uh, the camera mounts on. So we're gonna put two standoffs in each one. That part of that mount goes down. I think we have it right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is the fat part down or is the fat part up? I have my yeah, fat part down the way it was printed. The way it was printed. Fat part down. And it doesn't really matter, but you'll have a more up angle than down angle when the fat part is down. You see the swing goes kind of With my super my aggressive super 10 degree 10 flying degree style, I'm good. Style, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. um, you can actually do negative 20, I think, on that mount stock as well if you want to. Why not use the Vista? Use the Vista? What is that? Is that the tiny the 20 by 20 Cadex? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to add 20 by 20 cutouts on this frame in the final version, just in case we can not use that. I already did that on the other prototype. Larry, are you on speakers? Are you on speakers? Yeah, I'm on speakers. OK, it's got an echo. It's got an echo. All right. You have headset or headphones? I'm going to cannibalize my squirt for this build. <laughs> I cannibalized my DC5 to grab the stack out of it. I need, my, I need the DJI stuff out of it. It's so stupid they didn't send a cable, like the stuff we bought doesn't have a cable. I know, you guys got just single, you guys got like the individual pieces, right? Yeah. Yeah. Larry's like, yeah. Hey, audio. Give me a mic check. Yeah. Audio good now? Oh, it's horrible. No. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Alright, give me a sec guys, I'm gonna take this out of my uh, squirt real quick. You making popcorn back there? Thanks for the follow, Fate Hero, Fate Hero. What uh, what do you plan on doing with this seven-inch like long-range stuff? Uh, more like chase footage, like yeah, cars or whatever. Like I'm going to right. an off-road race um next month. Nice. In the desert, so I want something like that I can fly for eight minutes or longer. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm running those uh, 6S 2800 Hyperions, um, so they're high voltage. And I get, I can, like cruising, I can get like pushing like 18 minutes. Oh my god. And then when we film wakeboarding, we're for sure going 24 miles an hour or faster every time I like, cut in and back and forth. And that gets me like 12 minutes of like filming and then like, you know, two or three plus minutes flying to the boat and back. So probably 15 ish, like pretty aggressively, maybe not as fast as like cars. Yeah. But I mean, it, it definitely stays up there for, for a good bit more than like a five inch. What, what would you say the top speed is on yours? She quick. Yeah. Um, did you go with the 1300s or the 1800s? 13 13 yeah she's she's pretty fast i mean she gets up and going i just fly with such low uh camera angle yeah because you know usually the rider i'm either like pointed down at the rider diving or like they're going you know they're locked in at like 23 22.5 miles an hour so i never really cranked it because at 10 degrees you're just staring at the lake when you go any faster you have a link um i can put up on the stream right now of the video link yeah i think i got some stuff hey, son, bad, better audio. oh my god <laughs> that's even Jesus worse <laughs> <Man. No>. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like you're underwater now yeah uh, you're with all my other quads <laughs> okay so camera cable under the stack I ran mine under the stack. Yeah, it's it's definitely close. Like, it's. I mean, I have like I can tilt. I can tilt all the way up, no problem, and everything. But it's definitely pretty like, pretty close. But I can go from zero to full tilt up without any issue. Running it underneath. All right, I'm gonna take this one side of the ESC off. Time, hopefully. Okay. And did you put spacers underneath the ESC? Besides anything I, on top of the the grommets? I have two the two little blues on top. Two blues. They just give me the little blue washers that yeah. are in the five stack. The thick ones or the thin ones? The little thin ones. Let me see the stream. Okay. Yeah, those little ones right there. So just a th oh, you have you have two two different types. Yeah, I'll just put a thick one on. Yeah, yeah, right. those are the ones. Just for taking this off again. <laughs> oh shit! You can squeeze them underneath. No. Like pull them out. All right. Man. And then the only other downside that I found with the build was the air unit cable is super sh well it's just it's only one size so um the one that comes with the stack yeah so, you had so extend it. i had yeah i had to cut another one and extend it Shit. yeah so that kind of sucks we had to but cut it cut another this. one i had well I, I need or just add yeah, just add wire to it. Add wire. Yeah, I mean, I had I had another DJI cable. I don't know from what. So something's missing a DJI cable in my <laughs> fleet. But 
I just like plug that into the air unit and then just cut it and ha cut it where it met and then solder them together and just put heat shrink. I had to do that on the on the original build too. Um, and I don't think, you know, unless I don't think there's a way. The only way you could do that is if you custom ordered um, longer SMAs and then ran them like over the top and flip the air unit so the air unit was backward, Larry. Uh, for the is for the antennas. Yeah, like I had I had um, some some Chinese lady from AliExpress make me like custom 90 degree ones that are super thin wire. So it might be something that might be an option because then you wouldn't have to cut the uh, the uh, air unit cable. It would reach. I don't know, cutting the cable sounds easier than doing an AliExpress. Yeah, for order. sure. It's just kind of, it's just, you know, for people who end up like buying the frame, like you, oh, can't, yeah. use, you can't use what comes with the kit unless you have another wire. Gotcha, right? okay. So yeah, if it's something that maybe can be included in the kit, that'd be cool. Yeah, or unless you can get like, I don't know how much it costs to have those wires custom made, but then you would just leave them, I guess, with, I guess with the ends not finished. And then people could, because depending on the stack, the plug on the flight controller is different. And then my solder joints all look like shit. They look better than mine, I'll tell you that. Do you, what kind of waterproofing do you do on your rig, any? Uh, no, nope, none. Just kind of let it go. Um, I, I did conformal coat this, board, the one that's in here. Um, but the one that I've been flying is not conformal coated. But I tried like having like a float on it and I tried using these things called getter backs before and the getter backs worked like twice way back in the day, but the most recent ones, like they never deployed. So I just kind of gave up on it and just figured I'll lose it, I lose it. All right, so we're gonna use the M2 by eights that come with the kit for the camera mounting. You put it on the top or the okay i see i put mine on the top yeah yeah it's a little hard the motor's on so maybe next time i'll put the camera mounts on first and then put them on the frame yeah i put all the standoffs in and the air unit and dry fit the air unit so i knew where the cable was going to run and then built the stack up and fought with the XT60 wiring for a while. And then, are you gonna try and stick the cap in the front, or? Shit, I ended I up putting know. the cap in the back. And then you just ran a wire, you just set like a long wire kit from it? Yeah. So not, not the best, but not the worst. Okay, so let's put the air unit case on. This just sketches me out how loose the connections are on these MMCX. Yeah, that's why I run those extensions like I, into the SMAs. This one I can't even get off, but it's like just It's like almost like if you twist it to a certain place, it'll pop out easy. It's weird. Shit, pliers. <laughs> oh, so scary. Hi. There we go. Hey. <laughs> I just used a completely different computer. I was <laughs> like, hey, this, is, this, is not, this is not fucking working. I did the same thing too. My laptop can't tell when I plug in headphones. It just uses the microphone next to the keyboard. Yeah. So it's all just tippy taps. Yeah. Oh my God, it's like five dollars of BHP right here. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't VHB underneath it with the uh, with the t with the mount. Like it's okay, but yeah, dude, VHB. Remember Colby when when that thing just slammed in the back of your stack and broke everything on its own? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, that thing becomes a projectile so... and crash. 
So, like I that. think... Yep. Okay. Yeah, I didn't mind. There you I go. Didn't mind. Yeah, there like you that. go. Yeah, okay. and then... Keep you to the top. Keep That's you to right. the top. <laughs> Flip it. Uh, it's upside down. There we go. There you go. Delayed a little bit. Okay, and then which standoff oh. should I use? <laughs> Not the purple ones. Um... Oh, Larry, you said I'm going to need some other standoffs, right? Yeah, those purple ones. I think I gave you enough. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then the other thing is that, um, so your 12 millimeter screws, they all work just fine. The ones I gave no. you in separate. Uh, no, that's weird. Like some of them were, like, didn't thread. They slip, right? Yeah. yeah. And well, a couple we'll of them like, didn't it, like the, the button head, like wasn't bored out. So it's just. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where is oh, that's gotta be the crappiest ever. Yeah, but no, the ones I gave funny. you work. And then um, you're also gonna have to use um, the pretty looking screws on top. And uh, on the bottom, you're gonna have to, for the top standoffs rather, and for the bottom. Oh, I got a bunch of these pretty screws. screws. You do? Okay, cool. Yeah. These are the kits, they ship them with half the amount of screws that you need. I don't know what happened. These are pre production yeah. kits. So we're not totally 100% yet, so we'll get it right. I just used uh, the 12, the long ones that didn't grab in the arms. I just put those in the standoffs on the bottom. <laughs> wow. Big gold here, <laughs> no, Cal, you can run eight inch props on this frame in the rear, I believe. Uh, I don't know why you would do it, but I believe that you can do it. I'm gonna double check that right now. I think there's enough clearance for the front too. Uh, let me check. Uh, okay, yeah, so let me try it. There's like it's pretty big clearance. Um, I really do like the way that the I don't know what are we calling it the the cross not the iron cross the uh, <laughs> the, the arm brace race. the <laughs> brace the brace is really really good much better than the than V1. On the yeah. V1, they designed the brace to actually slot into the mid plate. Yeah, it was, and it was, it was just... really cool idea. Yeah, um, cute idea, bad execution. Cute idea, yeah. So this one and this this frames are already stiffer. I can't like I can get a little bit of play out of the other frame when I like torque the arms. Mm -hmm. Like this one doesn't move at all, so I'm pretty excited. The oh, yeah. I just hope I don't know. I just hope that the XT60 bunched up like that, pushing. Against, I don't think it's pushing against the stack. The stack seems like it's got enough room. It hovered. It hovered in the living room just fine. Nice. It's a lot cleaner when like the like the battery's mounted and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Which uh, which strap did we add on the top plate? Which which was the slot that we added the front one? Ooh, everything moved on the top plate. Everything. Um, moved, yeah. Now I'm using the two middle ones, and it's like perfect. Y'all have never mm -hmm. seen four battery straps on a frame before. I know it. <laughs> I know it's outrageous. But if you were running 4S and you were running one of the 5200s, the 135 millimeter battery, it would be pretty, it'd be like, you know, you could use the front and the back one or the front and the third one pretty good. Okay, so I have this mount, the, so this is the TBS or the... That G one doesn't, DJI. doesn't work. No? Well, yeah, oh, for, your, for that'll work. No, that'll work. Um, Larry, you figured out what you did wrong, right? Uh, yeah, I made the holes too small for the hex. But no, Kobe, you're gonna need a, you're gonna need a SMA to MMCX for that mount. Um, you might be able to do some weird shit to get those antennas to work for the for the meantime. But yeah, yeah I should, what I, I would do mean. since that since that mount's already messed up, do you have like an exacto knife and you could just cut a slit down each cylinder? Yeah. And then just pop. You could just pop your antennas in for right now until. Um, he, we print out a new one. And then I have I have a bunch of extensions that I can send you some. That'd be dope. Yeah. I grab a I should have some that'll work for that. Okay, so I can slide these in. So no count. You asked about eight inch props. You can run eight inch in the rear or the front. It'll clear in the rear. It's really close to your antennas and your pigtail or not your pigtail, your antennas and your GPS. So like, it'll be fine probably, but maybe not in the front. There's a little more clearance, but it fits both ways. The thing is, is the distance between the props 
is reduced to like, uh, let's see, what is that? Three millimeters. So that's not really good clearance. You're gonna get the clearest, cleanest air, so I wouldn't do it. You can't run eight inch on the front and the rear because the props will slap. Oh, I didn't even look at the props. Haha, <laughs> yeah. It clears the frame, but I have no interest in running eight inch. It's already hard enough to tune seven inch. Yeah, agreed. Um, do you have uh, SMA antennas that you can use? Me? Yeah. Um, yeah, I got like stubbies. Okay. These or, are, um, you're gonna use just yeah anything because I've got um I've got SMA extensions, but obviously your right M MMCXs aren't gonna work. All right, so I think we're gonna have to extend these wires right now. So that's gonna be yep. fun. So take a look. I, it doesn't matter, but the colors on the iFlight harness, there's only one black, and but they're both ground. So I would do them either one by one or just do all of the ones that match color-wise. And then the last one is the one that doesn't match. Oh, yeah. And you can remove the, the yeah. RX wires, right? So uh, are you flying the DJI remote? No. Okay. And so you can remove uh, here, the, is it PDF the white and gray. Face. The white and gray, I think. No, I think it's a yellow and black. The far side, the white and gray, you still need. Hold on, I'll send. I'll send the PDF for it. Uh, while you're looking at that, Noicale, a quasi isotropic, 100% frame. Uh, would perhaps be a little stiffer but here's the deal you choose the carbon and you lay out the parts the direction of the weave to make sure that you have limited flex and for an arm it really wouldn't make a difference unless perhaps you had some sort of twisty problem with your arm like we've had on uh cool. frames That's before awesome awesome um, link i just sent i know it's just asterisk jesus um, christ but on this frame the uh nice on this frame the mid plate and bottom plate are 2.5 millimeters so it's, it's so damn stiff already um i'm not sure we'd have to change the weave of the carbon to... i've had no issue with flexing and the vibrations that i've seen in like most seven inch so i think a lot of it has to do with all four arms touching and then even on v1 because the, that brace would get super tight the minute the frame would flex a little bit I think V2 should be really good because there's like zero play in it right now. Yeah, that was one of your chief feedback points that I took to heart was that make the arms touch. So they touch on the yeah. sides, on the front back, and in the middle. They touch on three places because of that. Right, uh, that right, place. because of the brace, exactly. And so the the DC7, they that's why they took so long to release it because that arm, each only the front arms touch each other and the rear arms touch each other, and they had a bunch of issues with it. The Super G Plus, I couldn't, I couldn't get the waggles out of it at all. Uh, I spent so much time on that frame. I'm, I hate it. I was so impressed when you said that the the sign barge was just easier to tune. Standard barge is easier to tune and flew better than that than the uh, Super G. It, Man, that made me feel good. <laughs> dude, it took. I mean, it took one day of just messing around tune to get picture that was so much better. Like. The FPV video feed is like super smooth. And then, you know, any, like the biggest issue that we had with the Super G was even with hyper smooth, you could see hyper smooth having to work way too hard and you would get these like little blurs and not to like uh, brag on it, but uh, Cole posted a video, I'll link it, um, of him flying his Super G and it's doing the exact same thing. And you can see like the image just gets kind of blurry when HyperSmooth kicks in. And it's because of the little vibrations that we can never get out of that frame. Let me see if I can find his video. Okay, so do I need to repin this uh, harness at all? Or I, I took out the no. yellow and the black. No, you don't need to repin. Did you see the, did you see the PDF I sent you? Yeah. So, um, so I'm gonna cut this wire, cut this harness, and extend it. <laughs> so, uh, what are you? You're gonna run TBS Crossfire? Yeah. So.
So yeah, you don't need the top two, so yellow and black. S bus in the second ground. Okay, cool. I already cut it. So Which is good, good because that's... <laughs> um, that's actually, that second ground is the one that doesn't match color. Well. So okay. you're good now. Everything matches one to one. All right, this and, will be fun. Yeah, how are you going to, are you just going to add wire in the middle? Yeah. Because you don't have another wire with the plug on it, right? No, I might have some like long wires that have the same. Um, it's uh, JTS GH. If you want, if you have a thing to deep in it, but I didn't, I didn't have any. I'll just extend it. I'm going to grab some heat shrink and yeah. some wire. <laughs> so Larry, that was another thing we were talking about. Um, that's probably the biggest downside. And I think that goes with any seven inch frame where it's going to run the air unit in the back is you'd have to extend well, I guess it's really only this stack that's the problem because yeah. the you know, harness we, wire is super short. I think the stock one, if you're soldering, it'd be no problem. But we, we just need to talk to iFlight and tell them to make that cable longer. I mean, we've got contacts there. Yeah, that's true. The, I, if, that, if that harness cable, if they came with a long one where you could the normal way, then it would reach. Yeah, it'd be way cleaner. So, but like I have the T, I have the T motor stack, and it re like I could I could have ran it the other way and it would have reached because that one comes with a long a long harness cable. Nice. Hey, Colby, uh, what are you gonna do about your um, capacitors? Are you gonna put two of them side by side in the rear, or are you gonna put one in the front, or like how are you gonna manage that? Um, uh, I don't know yet. Are you? Do you plan on making any kind of like? skids to land on or what do you guys do for landing on your quads just foam foam squares foam, uh, uh, yeah I have foam, foam. I need to print you out the um, the skids that I designed Colby there so um, they're kind of like the ones that uh, well they're they're kind of like a booty but upside down and they have a little bit of a, a, a height to them so I'll send a photo maybe you can throw it in the stream or something yeah I'll take uh, I'll take the STL file too and have my buddy print them. Oh, uh, for sure. Yeah, they'd be really good in nylon. I wouldn't probably do them in TPU. It would right. be okay, but yeah. And the way I designed it is um, there's two screws that go into the mount to hold into the booty to hold it on the bottom, and there's two screws that go directly into the carbon. Um, Perfect. That's good. Uh, That's I believe fine. I got that feedback. Either it was from you or it was from the real Johnny. Yeah, it's probably me. <laughs> Fuck Johnny. <laughs> no, um, yeah, but I think we were talking about that because like the Rotor Riot has like the nylon ones and everything, and then uh, we were designing some for the Super G, and that was one of the things we were like, no, I want it to actually hold the motor in place if something breaks. Right, if the if it cracks and they're nylon, you, the motor just goes flopping everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, the design process on this frame was, it was a lot of fun um, working with several respected pilots, giving me feedback on design, sending, uh, you know, Autodesk 360 um, links so that they could like explode the parts, take a look at it, give feedback. And before it was ever in anyone's hands, I had just so much feedback to work with. It was just, it was just instrumental. You, you guys are all great. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Sure. Some designers probably don't like that kind of process. They like just get criticized left and right. Oh, I love it. Uh, for me, I just thrive on. I mean, everyone has an opinion. Some people's opinions are wrong, but as long as you have a good filter function, you don't know, take things personally. You come out just better every time. And that was really the reason why I started Falcon Multi Rotors. Um, I wanted to give some feedback to a frame designer who had a great frame. He rejected the feedback, and I was like, I'll just make my own frame then, whatever, you know? And so I yeah. started making my own frames. And then eventually, in the next vision of the frame, I saw the feedback that I gave rolled into it. But, you know, by then it was too late. What frame was that? Yeah, it was the Shrike. Oh, yeah. I just sent you a screenshot of the, the sliders I designed. Um, okay. They're not as long as some might be, but... They should do the trick. A little screenshot of how that cross fits in. Painful. Let's see. Where do you
you send it? Uh, on Discord. Okay. So cool. I don't know if you can screen share that so others can see. Oh, just looking at your build picks, uh, Alessandra, they look great. There they are. That is the slider. It's a slider, and then... Star, what's up, dude? <laughs> okay, Let's finish this stupid harness real quick. There's nothing worse than extending harnesses. <laughs> it's literally the worst part of building. Yeah, it oh, always just feels like. Shrink. It just feels like you're defiling the uh, the beauty of the cable. Just <laughs> throwing throwing all this heat shrink and extra solder into it. I know how to crimp, I just don't have like the tools and like the right the right uh, connectors. Get that you can just custom make your own cables. Yeah, I've never done. I never invested in either. I actually do have a crimp tool. I just and I do have JST uh, for um, balance connectors, but I don't have it for these. There's like three different kinds of these little JSTs. Yeah. I just hate adding connections to a build. Black to black. Let's get color coded these a little better. Yeah, I guess that's the only downside to that uh, iFlight stack is the harness cable is too short. So in hindsight, I don't know if it would have been easier to just build a new harness for the iFlight or to extend your DJI wire. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah, or put the stack the other way around. I tried road well the the harness that's the problem the harness isn't long enough to rotate unless you don't care about the uh, XT60 plug which is what I did on V1. My pads come out the side and the cap goes down and then the leads go up. But it's you know it's definitely not as clean. Where's that trim? Almost done. Fellstar Cinnabars can come home with you 69 for the 6 inch, 79 for the 7 inch. Comes with all the 3D printed parts you need, yeah, except for the steel. GoPro mount. That is so much cheaper than other 7 inches with 3D printed parts. It's insane. Yeah, we wanted to make it accessible. Um, yeah. You know, and I mean, like, it's, to be honest, if anything else is just pure profit. I'm already making a couple of bucks off it, and this is just, like, you know, Falcon Multi Rotors does not pay my bills. This is not my <laughs> primary business. Like, if it did, I would be not living in San Francisco. I'd probably be, like, living on the street somewhere. But, uh, <laughs> so for me, it's a, it's just all about making fun quads, getting them in the hands of skilled pilots, seeing them film, like, all sorts of badass stuff, like, you know, motorcycles and wakeboarders and all sorts of shit, and parasailers and you know like uh, paragliders rather that that's what i want to do not not go and try and make a pretty penny off of selling yeah. stuff but I got, I got respect for for other pilots who are doing this for a living who are releasing frames you know with their their uh, pedigree and their seal of approval for like you know 120 bucks or however much those things are these days that's cool if you want to like make a living off of it it could be a way to do it but for me it's all about the love all about the fun all about the hobby. Damn. 
So this message brought to you by Falcon. <laughs> Falcon Holy Rudder. <laughs> Kobe, double check that polarity, man. You got those two black wires scaring me. Yeah. And that's how uh, that's how China Man blew his up, didn't he? <laughs> He's having a, a rough week. Did he blow up his his Cinnabarge? Yeah, he shorted everything out by plugging. Yeah, it's like right on the, it's like on him, it's the, on the pads. Yeah, it's super tight. Um, I don't know how you guys did it. I ended up doing, I cut the wires short, and I soldered them going straight up, and then I left a little bit of slack and just kind of did what you said, Larry, and just pushed the uh, XT60 down. Yeah, Colby, you might want to push that connector even through a little bit further, so you've got less plastic below the top plate that might make it easier for you it's it's tough though like i i may have to move that thing more forward or something i don't know what would make it easier um if you go straight up and down you can't really remove the plate unless you push it out yeah um, or unscrew it which is kind of wacky right i guess more forward but i yeah, more forward would definitely, it's just that like, I feel like, I mean, maybe I just suck at soldering, but like my wires get so stiff right at the connector because the solder seeps down. Right, the flux runs and, up the, the wire. Yeah, and then I can't, um, I can't bend them. Oh my god, okay. Yeah. This thing <laughs> the key to making your wires not get stiff like that is ultra high heat, flux on the area of contact, and as quick as you can. You want to no, get it. All I have, all I have is a TS100 soldering iron. There's no such thing as high heat. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get yourself a Weller workstation, man. This thing will do 850 degrees and keep it there. You nice. get a big old fat tip, so you're not, uh, yeah. so you've got like something to hold that heat in there. Right. That's what I've been. I've been soldering with that for 20, 20 23 years. It's the Jeez. work that I used. Hundred dollar yeah. investment. <laughs> I spent all my money on cameras. <laughs> right. Let's see. Shit. I don't know which side's positive and negative. Okay, positive's the flat side. Okay, we're good. Also, make sure on the on the ESC, which is the positive and negative. Yeah. 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 Positive's the flat side. I always gotta double check that. I'm just gonna make the cable long and just kind of do a little S around. Yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Um, I will know tomorrow morning if that affects anything with vibrations coming through because it is touching like the bottom plate. True. Yeah. Um, but I mean, that XT60 is soft mounted into the top plate if you really. <laughs> <laughs> like, my flight, like the flight control, like the flight controller is totally isolated even even after that, so yeah. um, I, I think it should be fine. The test hover gave me hope because, I don't know, I can kind of, you can kind of like hear when the quad's being a dick mm -hmm. right when you hover it. Oh man, that, uh, that other prototype I flew today, I was just scratching my head. Why is this thing flying yeah. so shitty? That's right, I, for, I totally forgot about all those boards have problems. Oh man, I hope your board doesn't have the problem. Well, if it does, Colby, you can just switch to use either the first or the second gyro, and hopefully, yeah. luck of the draw, one of those is working. God. <laughs> so I had I had a quad, I'd hover it, it seemed okay, and then it would just start twitching left to right, the motors got super hot, and I was like, what's going on? I was messing with filters, the tune, everything, couldn't get it. And then I, I went and read the documentation for the flight controller about, you know, set, use gyro equals both, or first or second and the second i switched it to the second gyro all the problems were gone it flew like a dream so gyro one on yours is bad gyro one was bad on my mini f7 6 sex or whatever it's called yeah so i made like a little g with mine really oh nice. perfect does it are you able to get it in there pretty pretty good yeah it's fine um, you might even be able to tuck a capacitor inside of that g <laughs> like Mine did not fit at all. I ran mine in the back. All right. But, Are you guys yeah. using the capacitor that came with this? 
I have. I flew tons of success on the DC Titan 5 that I took the stack out of, and that came with the... Uh, what size caps? It, the one that was on my board was not even a thousand UF or whatever. This is a 470. Yeah, that must have been. Let me see if I can find the one that was on my board. On my build that I lost, I used a, a thousand microfarad uh, low ESR, one of the Panasonics with the, the gold writing on it. But I mean, to be honest, that's you use whatever cap. Thousand is going to be the best. Thirty-five volts minimum, and it's going to be fine. I don't think the low ESR thing really does much, from my personal experience. I know others with electronic engineering uh, knowledge might disagree, but yeah, I just use whatever thousand. I... Okay, I'll have to grab a thousand. But I have used that stack success, no problem, with the one that it came with. <laughs> What is that cap that it comes with? It looks like a thousand, but it's a 470? Yeah. It's a little weak. When I fly it, step it up. Maybe they, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I wish we could get past that. Like, why do we still have to run caps? I feel like we should. Yeah, it's a 470. It's a 50 volt though. So at least they got that going for you. The cap that they, that it came with? Yeah, it's a 470, 50 volt. And I mean, the reason you want a higher voltage rating than your battery is because when uh, you have um, braking on, which is default, of course, in BL Heli, um, it feeds back tons of voltage back into the system. And right. that's what the cap really does, prevents the over voltage from frying Soaks the sets. Yeah. So yeah, I gotta add a GPS on this build, and uh, I guess, well, I guess then you mount whenever you finish, fix up the drawing. Yeah, I will send you this SDL file for the um, for the rear. Uh, I, I fixed it already right away. Okay. I was, so I was like, oh, you so you must be doing something wrong. And then I can look at it, and I'm like, ah, oh, I'm the dumbass. I, <laughs> I, like, put the thing in, and I was like, well, this doesn't thread all the way through. And I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> Yeah, that Hulk smash it in. Yeah. So, version 16 of that mount now. Like, we didn't have a mount. <laughs> it takes time to get these things right, you know? You gotta have yeah, patience. It's true. 16 versions later. <laughs> I'll throw that in the, in the Slack channel. Sick. slide you those uh, sliders as well. Oh, do you, uh, did you build a seven inch? I haven't built my seven inch yet. My other seven inches in the forest I lost in the snowstorm. That's right. Yeah, sad day. I got, I got wanted posters I'm printing out. I'm going to the neighborhood kids go look for it. I'm going to give a neighborhood kids a GoPro if they find it. And uh, they got oh, some. Sick. They got some loggers coming through to clear out the area for uh, the National Forest Service. And uh, I'm going to put the poster out there, put a phone number. Like, hey, bro, you find this six pack of beer and a hundred dollars. There you go. Uh, anyway, gentlemen, I got to hop off, but the build's coming along good. Looks great. Thanks. Uh, thanks for hopping on, uh, Alessandro, and giving yeah. all your insight. Yeah, I'll yeah. stick around for a little bit. Um, Justin Sark is at my house sitting on the couch watching TV listening along. He watched me struggle today building <laughs> But I think it came out. Are you is your cap gonna fit up in the front? Uh, I'm, I'm jealous if it does All right, audios guys. Cheers. Hey. Yep. Yeah, see ya I, mean, I think I can, yeah, I think I can make it fit. Oh, no, I can't look like talking about <laughs> <laughs> Mech That's stick on the side here. Not just sticking out. I know it was killing my OCD though. Yeah, I don't care about that really. There's so much room in the back. It's like shit. In the back here. 
Yeah, I put mine. I put mine in like right up against the air unit. Yeah. Kind of floating there, and I put some VHB on it and stuck it to the air unit, and then ran the wires under the whole stack. Yeah, that seems too long. Yeah. I'm probably just gonna VHP it up front here. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, here we go. And I'll um, I'll post. I'll give you my tune if you want it. Yeah, man. Um, it was. Uh, I think it's pretty solid. I haven't flown it on this frame yet, but on the V1. Did you use sliders like, on Betaflight? Uh, started everything with sliders, and then um, there's a UAV Discord, UAV Tech Discord. Uh -huh. Bunch of the guys in there, like super helpful. You like post your like black box vlogs, and they kind of like, you know, I just sat there and like chatted with them for like a day, and we just flew some packs, posted in the channel, and they gave me input, and so it's all custom now, um, and it's it's pretty solid, I think. Um, and you're using the same motors I am? Yeah, same, same. exactly the same build. Um, oh, yeah. Like 100% same stack, same motors, same size cap. Um, yeah, Waffles cap cap wouldn't work here, no call. Unfortunately. So I'm just going to stick it on the side here. You know what would be cool? Like a little like arm holder for the cap. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be really easy to do. And I think, uh, and then you could just run wires. Oh, I need to put some feet on mine before I scratch up the bottom tomorrow. Did you put any LEDs on yours? the FC now. You got the cap in? Yeah. Man, it took you way less time to decide where to put it. <laughs> yeah, I don't care really. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you race drones, like, you get to the you point where you just... It's working. Yeah, it's like, you're building stuff constantly. Yeah. And you just start... I mean, at least for me, I'm not OCD about stuff. I just don't want to, to like get hit by the props at all, so just gonna make sure. It, yeah. You're running, uh, which props you're running? HQ 7x3? 7x4s. 7x4? 7x4x3. Seven, seven by 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 okay, that's what I have. Yeah, I would throw away any of the 7x3.5s if you have them. Shit. And I wouldn't mess with the dial props because they spontaneously explode at the hub. All right, so now we need to put our crossfire on. We're almost done, actually. Oh, yeah, you so have crossfire, where is that gonna fit? I guess where, you could where, right here, right behind right the, in front of the air unit. Behind, yeah. Um. Okay. So let's see. We got. Oh, 
Oh wow, this thing has eight motor outputs. Motor one, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holy shit. That's good. Oh dude, I could do a hex I could do another hex uh hex class. Oh yeah, that'll be sick. Holy shit, yeah, how how does that thing fly? Crazy. <laughs> I bet. That's fucking scary. I uh I built one for IO last year. Yeah. And um it flew great. But uh, this was back before APD ESCs, advanced power drives. Right. So we we're using these like shitty B rotor ESCs, and um, flew it, put it back in the car, came back out like an hour later to fly it again, and I plugged it in and like oh. everything caught on fire. <laughs> they just all died. Yeah. That sucks. I even called yeah. it too. I was like, "Stand back, people! This thing might catch fire." Head one flight is done. All right, so I'm gonna take the crossfire off of this little poor baby. Squirt, sorry. <laughs> Been good. Yeah. Oh, wait, how'd you mount the crossfire antenna? I use it. I use a DJI controller. Oh shit. It'll make my life easy. <laughs> How's the latency on that? <coughs> I don't know. I don't race. <laughs> That's true. Couldn't tell you. Um, it's funny. My only other compare, yeah. I mean, I flew, I flew analog way back in like 14 when I first started like flying, and then I stopped flying FPV because I didn't like the video that was coming out of the stuff. And then I got back into it when like the Hero 7 came out and Hypersmooth was like making it easy. Yeah. And then DJI came out like right away, so I like was like fuck this, I'm not even gonna bother. Sold everything. So I. It's, I don't know, Justin flies through a lot more analog and he free stuff. I don't think it's too bad. It's probably, it's supposed to be faster than the video. It's like seven milliseconds with uh, S plus fast now. Nice. All right, so we're gonna put the crossfire on. I don't think we can plug this thing in. How's this thing sound flying? Is this crazy? Pretty quiet? No, it's pretty quiet. It's yeah. like a, it's got a nice like uh, like deep hum to it. Kind of like I don't know. Have you ever heard like a Mavic 2 fly? Yeah. Sounds sounds a lot like that. Ooh, like maybe a little bit louder, but not not much. Dude, I flew my. <laughs> I got this diatone Cinewoop. The white one, the yellow and black this, one? Yeah, yeah. With the foam, is that in the corner right over there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, those things are so, so loud. fucking loud. Yeah, even the the Mega B from iFlight was super loud, and then uh, my friend made some uh, squirt style ducks for it, and it was like way, way quieter. <laughs> and flew way better too, so I was surprised to see the ducks. Properly made ducks actually seem to make a difference. I never remember the wiring for these crossfires. Okay. <coughs> it's in that PDF. <laughs> no, on the, on so, the actual, on the actual crossfire. Yeah, yeah, it's it's in the PDF. Okay, I just I pulled it up. Uh, the new ones have the silk screen on them, but this one doesn't. Orient it with the the UFL plug on the bottom, bottom right, bottom left, bottom right. <laughs> what antennas are you running on your goggles? True, uh, true RCs. The patches? Uh, no, the um, the nubbies, the okay. custom made nubbies that are like. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I haven't. I don't really fly that long. I mean, my the furthest the I've usually taken is like two kilometers. Um, is about like how long most of the lakes are when I sit on the shore and go out. Yeah. Um, and I haven't had any 
any issues. Video has been the least of my concern. Um, and now that they gave us the remote so you can see the controller um, signal, uh, I've now started to pay attention to it, but it just it just kind of goes, I don't know. The video like will drop latency a little bit, but it usually bounces back if you like kind of reposition the quad. But there's also nothing on the lake really in between you. Yeah. So it's just kind of reflecting a bit. It's not too bad. All right, so the crossbar is gonna go right in the back here. We're fine. <laughs> I'm about to have Larry design me some kind of mount for this antenna, though. Yeah. For now, I'll just put it on the arm. I wonder. Yeah, I guess he didn't make any. Uh, he could. He could make that platypus tail. That, did you, you see the GPS? It could have like a little piece on the GPS, even though that's not really the best way to mount crossfire. Yeah. Alright, we're going to plug this thing in about two minutes here. I was happy. I had a first plug. Everything was perfect. And... Once I got the motor resource right, every motor was spinning in the right direction. I huh. was and uh, which D shop protocol are you running? 600. Um, are you doing RPM 8K. filtering? Yeah, 8K, 2K. Seems to work pretty well for the 7 inch. And then um, medium with like 8 notches. On the, that 36 bank that's like new for 4.1 or whatever. Okay, let's grab a 4S pack. <laughs> They're in. Ease are in. Justin, you want to watch the quad power line for the first time? <laughs> <laughs> He's plugging it on live. This is Sark from the channel. Where are you going? Come here. Come here. Okay. Here it is. Live. Live. Positive. Positive. <laughs> oh, did you use a cap, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna unplug the DJI just in case. <laughs> Good call. No point in frying that thing too. You know, fuck it. I trust my build. Oh, you're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna unplug the DJI and now it's just gonna Oh, I heard beeps. Yeah, we're good. these motors up uh, I bet you I mean here do you want to I can get you're gonna have to redo all the resources like already because oh yeah you just want to send me your, your dump yeah. Oh, yeah yeah I'll just I'll give you the diff all and then all you got to do is the uh, the crossfire stuff so give yeah me a second. Okay. which uh, beta flight are you on or the latest Fuck, I need a USB-C for this thing? Okay. Ah, such a mess. OK, 
Okay, let's pull up Beta Flight. It's in the general chat, okay. um, chat. General Discord. Okay. I guess I gotta just put it in the. Sick. Uh, okay. Cool. So, you, uh, which beta flight are you on? Four point one point three. So, um, you should be. You just got this board, right? Yeah. Yeah. So connect to it. Okay. Just connect to it real quick. Um, don't bother. I wouldn't reflash it yet. Okay. Yeah, so. Uh, oh, it came in 4.1.0. So I'm on 4.1.3. So you can flash that. Okay. EXF722. Actually, they have go under iRace. Oh shit, go where? Go to, um, oh, I guess I am delayed right now. Um, I think there's a, I wouldn't do the EXF, do the, um, do the iFlight one, because it's gonna have the default, like, settings right when it loads up. Okay. So it's gonna be called, um, IFF underscore twin underscore G parentheses IFRC parentheses close. Okay. So I I flight underscore twin look for that. Okay. I'm a little behind on the stream. So yeah, I'm about to reflash her. Yeah. Okay, I flight. What are you? Flight. F7 under IFF7 underscore twin underscore G. Yes, yes, that one. What up, Colby? What's up, man? What are y'all doing? Just doing a live stream build right now. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. My Apex later, bro. Yeah, probably about to jump on Velocity Drone right now. Okay. I'm gonna finish this up here and I'm gonna go to the gym and I'll be back. Get some practice. I wonder if Larry flashed his with just the like, like what you originally flashed it with, just the board target. And yeah. You got gyro issues because of Ooh, that. Maybe, yeah. Uh... Alright, so I'm gonna paste your diff in here. Please fix the errors. Okay. Is that board name cannot be changed. No, that's fine. Alright, so let's see, I don't think my cable is long enough to reach on the, to the, to the, to the, the stream, but we'll try to... Yeah, no worries. Um, make sure the, the gyro, everything should be fine, because remember your board is flipped, but... Okay, let's see. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, we're going to spin the motors up. It's going to be hard to show you guys, because... 
I don't have a long <laughs> USB-C cable. It's just GoPro cables. Check this stream out. You're on Twitter? I mean Twitch? Oh, yeah. Good. I do ESC startup. They didn't start up? Mm -hmm. Or they didn't do the stuff. Yeah, the FC's not doing the full. It's doing the did it it. Power cycle. Okay. Good? No. Uh, did it do it before? Yeah, right? Yeah, uh, before I flash it, yeah. Oh, weird. Um, the fuck? The last USB device you connected to this computer malfunctioned. <laughs> Driver fixer. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Now it's connected. Huh. It's picking them up to be all heli. Yo. Hey, man. Did it come back? <laughs> no, it's. I'm able to read them in be all heli, so it's weird. So I'm just gonna reflash. I'm gonna flash them to the latest. Yeah, flash to the latest. Oh well, no. Yeah, flash to the latest, and then when you connect. I don't remember. I don't think it prompts. No, that's a different board that prompted for like defaults load defaults or something yeah no it did that it asked me and i did it i did it did do that okay yeah. try that and then try reconnecting before you dump my stuff into it oh so reflash it yeah reflash it just connect and do the defaults and then plug the battery in and let's see if that works okay maybe the, the default fucked it up Hopefully wait noical are you serious? <laughs> Hold on. It said you can flash all the ESCs at once in Bill Heli. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to need 3.2.7 anyway. Ooh, season 5, track 3. Things fun. Oh yeah. Well, what scene is that on? That was the one uh, Bando scene. Oh yeah. The with, one everybody loved. With the, the like the, the slurtle. Yeah. Crazy tunnel. Yeah. Or the, no, the turtle we called it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder if they didn't initialize this because you weren't on three point two point seven and RPM filtering. Probably. Probably, yeah. I bet that's the case. Yeah. Koda, what are you sniffing? What's Koda doing? There we go. Okay, we're good. Spin the motors. Oh, you're so quiet. Yeah, super quiet. 
The other spinning? Yeah. Nice. So that was the issue then, huh? Yeah, let's check the motor order. Yeah, double check all that. You have my diff in? Yeah. Oh, I fly props in also, by the way, just in case. Oh, okay. You, or use the props out. Okay, so I just Four. One and four. Need to change. Okay. Are you prop? Do you spin props out? Mm hmm Gotcha. Yeah, you'll have to. You'll have to just change everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Two motors. Yeah. Boot up circuits. Uh. Pretty like easy, pretty quick build, honestly. It's just like fidgeting with little things. Alright, let's connect what we have on it last time. I'm gonna go though, but ping okay. me in the on Slack if you need anything. Alright, dude, thanks for your help. Thanks yeah, for doing man. the group line and everything too. I really appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. Are you uh, are you gonna test it out tomorrow? Hopefully, yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I know how it goes. Okay. See you. Right on. Later, man. All right. All the motors are spinning. I don't know if you guys can see. Probably not. Yeah, you can see a little bit here. All right. So I'm just going to screw down the top plate so you guys can see what it looks like all together. And then I'm going to head out of here. Got some little bit of work to do left to uh, um, do some more beta flight configuration stuff. But let's see. Things massive. I'll put some props on too so you guys can see what it looks like with seven inch props. I know, right, Nork? <laughs> Silly. So I'll probably just put the crossfire antenna on the back arm or something for now. Grab some props. Oh, baby. <laughs> there she is.
Hefty girl. All right, guys, I'm going to sign off you here. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you guys learned a few things. I know I did. Uh, thanks to Larry. Thanks to uh, Dance Girl <laughs> for all their help. And uh, we'll see you guys on uh, Monday night for the Tiny Boop stream. Yeah, anyone that's rotating stands for sure. All right, guys, have a good night. Have a good weekend. Bye.